Yo, 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 how's it going everyone? Welcome to episode one of Tales of Symphonia, a really old game. Uh, came out on the GameCube in North America, came out on PlayStation in Japan, and this is the PC version of the Japanese version in English. So just to make that distinction, the North America version, I guess because it went on the GameCube, they had to like cut a bunch of content on it to fit it on. But in the PlayStation version, there was a lot more space so they could include all the cool stuff, uh, all that like bonus, like, oh, extra attacks and extra cutscenes and things like that. So we are playing that version, uh, but the PC Steam version. Uh, and you're probably wondering, what the heck? Congratulations on completing the game. You can now begin a new game with a variety of special features by using your grade from your completed game. All earned grade carries over into the next game. So I decided I would do a new game plus on this because I've played this game so many times, like so many times. I've, I've sunk, I think over in my entire lifetime, probably like 400 hours into this game. I've beaten this game multiple times and it takes about 40 hours to beat the game. So yeah, yeah, I've spent a lot of time on it. So I'm going to spend another 40 hours playing this. So why not? Um, but yeah, we're going to do like a new game plus, which is pretty cool. Um, I just have to figure out what I want to do. I think what I was going to do is just go crazy and give myself 10 times the amount of experience. It will use pretty much all my grade. But I think, I don't know, it sounds pretty good. Oh man, we, we if we had an extra 13, we could have increased our grade. Oh, brutal. I mean, we could just go double XP, but eh, no, it's okay. Um, what else do I want? Playtime. Uh, so because we're loading the game that was beaten, I think that has 41 hours on it. So nah, playtime is fine. Memory circles, eh. Cooking ability, eh. Recipes. Recipes is kind of... I feel like recipes is important. Kind of. And, well, oh, what do I want to do? Let's do world map. Let's do recipes. I don't care about cooking ability. That's whatever. Um, Battle info, tech... Uh, you know what? I think that's... I think that's fine. You know what? Let's do memory circles just because we have 20 extra. Cool. All right, let's do it. Start new game, starting a new game with your grade shop purchases. Let's diggity do it. Okay, obtained Tales of the Abyss costume set. I forgot I have a bunch of these costume sets. I don't know if they automatically come with, uh, with the PC version of Tales of Symphonia, maybe. I don't know, but I have them, so we'll use them. Anyway. Once upon a time, there existed a giant tree that was the source of mana. A war, however, caused this tree to wither away, and a hero's life was sacrificed in order to take its place. Grieving over the loss, the goddess disappeared unto the heavens. The goddess left the angels with this edict. You must wake me. For if I should sleep, the world shall be destroyed. The angels bore the Chosen One, who headed towards the tower that reached up unto the heavens. And that marked the beginning of the regeneration of the world. Oh, what a cool intro, going through the clouds. Oh, yeah. Lloyd Irving, wake up. Come on, I'm pressing the button. Oh, okay, it's automatic. Lloyd! How do you fall asleep holding two buckets? What? <laughs> oh, gosh. Ah. How do you manage to sleep standing? No, that, honestly, I, I am astounded as well. Oh, Professor Rain, it, is class over? Yeah, definitely. That's why everyone is sitting down. <sighs> Never mind. Let's have someone else answer the question. Genus, how about you? Yes, Rain. Mythos the hero, 
brought about the end of the ancient war in the holy ground of Carlon. Correct. Afterwards, Mythos the hero formed a pact with the goddess Martell to seal away the Desions whom caused the war. But the Desions came back and are now causing everyone to suffer. I love how they're just giving like, oh, this is this is the problem in the game. We covered that in class last time, remember? When the seal weakens, the Desions reappear, just like they have now. I, uh, yeah, I knew that. I, I just forgot. Yeah, you just forgot? Are you sure you weren't sleeping, Lloyd? Today is the day of prophecy. It is a very important day, which the Chosen of Mana will receive an oracle from the goddess Martell. Now Chosen One, Colette. Yes, ma'am? Tell us about the journey of world regeneration. It is a journey to seal the designs. Upon passing the trials of the goddess Martell, the summoned spirits that protect the world awaken, and mana is restored. Correct. I suppose we should expect the Chosen herself to know the answer to that one. Mana depletion is the cause of the current food shortages and droughts. It is said that this occurs because the Desions consume vast amounts of mana in their human ranches. So when I was growing up and playing this game for the first time, um, I was pretty young. I think this game came out in like 2003 or something, I think, maybe 2005, but I think it was 2003. So I was eight years old and uh, yeah, a lot of this beginning stuff, I was like, I don't know what any of this means. The Chosen's journey has two purposes to revive mana, as well as defeat the designs. Now, for the next question. Oh, flashing light. What was that? That's... Settle down. It would seem that the time for the Oracle has come. I will go and check on the chapel. Everyone stay here and study on your own. Understood? Professor! I'll go with you. No, Colette. If it is the Oracle, the priests will come here for you. Wait here with everyone else. Yes, ma'am. Oh boy, oh boy, we get to play. All right, uh, so right away. Wow, voice crack, right away. Let's customize. Um, message speed zero, just so we see it right away. Uh, okay, so normal hard mania. I'm gonna go on hard. I don't want to do mania because mania is just very stressful. Even if you have 10 times XP, it, at least in the beginning, it's unless you grind a bunch, it's very stressful. Uh, window, yeah, let's just do that. Window background, ah, let's do that. The rest of this, I don't know if it really matters that much. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That should all be good. Okay. Um, so what are we going to do? We're going to check Lloyd's status so we can switch him to Guardian. And by doing that, we can switch his costume. Hey, that is uh, a character from another Tales game. And I, I can think of him. He's blonde, I think. I'm pretty sure. He's in... Is he Vesperia? Am I getting that one confused with another one? I thought he was, maybe he's not. Maybe he's in the Tales of Abyss. I, I honestly cannot remember. Lloyd, where are you going? Don't tell me you're sneaking out. Rain will get mad. I'm really curious to find out what really happens to Colette when she receives the Oracle. Wow, I'm a great voice actor. I hate these voices. <laughs> they always talk about the Chosen of Regeneration and the Day of Prophecy, but no one tells us what really happens. But my sister said to stay and study by ourselves. Uh, it's research. Okay, fine. Uh, you know what? This playthrough, I'm going to do the opposite of what I normally do. I would normally just do its research and then we escape and leave. But, you know, I'm just going to say, okay, fine. Okay, fine. Sheesh. Honestly, Lloyd, it's not pretty when Rain gets mad. Man, I was really looking forward to seeing what happens with the Oracle. But we're not going to. Instead, we're just gonna wait for this old man to go into a classroom. Oh, go okay, he's a grand priest. Okay, okay. Sorry, it was just old dude going into a classroom of children. Anyway, chosen one. I'm gonna die in front of you. I was sent here, uh, pastor. Hey, are you all right? The designs attacked the temple. 
Wait, Isalia has a non-aggression treaty with the Desions. You mean that agreement where they don't attack the village as long as we leave the ranch alone? Yes, Grandmother said it was to protect me. I don't know why, but they have broken the treaty. Chosen one, hurry, receive the oracle. I will. Please be careful. I regret that I was unable to protect the Cho. I need to protect the Cho. Uh, Pastor, hang on. It's no good. He's gone. Oh, no. Okay. I'm going. Colette, there are designs outside. Yes, but I have to go. I am the Chosen. My job is to accept the Oracle on the Day of Prophecy. Everyone, wait here, all right? Lloyd, are you going to let Colette go by herself? Uh, I'm going to. I'll wait for you. Uh, <laughs> I'm really tempted just to say I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. Colette says she'll be fine by herself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I am a dick. Okay. I can't believe you, Lloyd. I'm going with Colette. Okay, fine. I'll go. Besides, I'm worried about the professor, too. Wow. We are destroying Colette. Thanks, both of you. Holy. You know, honestly, I don't, I'm not really... I don't feel bad for that. Because you get so many... Oh, gosh. Okay, so in this game, you have characters um, that interact with each other. And the more they interact with each other, the more they love each other and the relationship goes up. Um, but it's a hidden stat. I don't think you can actually check it aside from in-game people that can check it for you for some reason. I think the fortune teller later in the game tells you it. Um, but anyway, yeah, so... Um... Yeah, so there's hidden relationship stuff, and Colette is, like, because she's main character, um, she's, like, the, the chosen one. Yeah, she's, like, very easy to get those relationship points with, so I'm okay if we don't get relationship points with her. It means we can get relationship with points with other people. Um, anyway, when did this hole get here? Have you forgotten, Lloyd? This happened when Colette... It was during last year's spring cleaning. I was mopping, and then accidentally... Um, you're such a klutz, Colette. And we got klutz for Colette. Klutz, that's her name. Um, anyway, let's change this. We could do uh, klutz and we do get some bonuses. Uh, level up HP, strength, and accuracy, I believe. Uh, or we could just go genius researcher and switch her costume. Same with magic user, let's switch to noble sun. And then we can quickly see what everyone else's costume is. Hey, there we go. This is the girl from Tales of Vesperia. Um, can't remember her name, but she is in that game. And Genus gets, uh, yeah, he gets the main guy from Tales of the Abyss for some reason. Maybe it's because the hair is both long. But anyway, those are those characters' costumes. And yeah, let's let's go. There's no one here. They're scared and are uh, they are they are scared and are hiding from the designs. Yeah, that's how you speak. Uh, Colette. Oh, it's Frank. Oh, Frank. Oh, I love Frank. He's just such a random, I don't know, normal character. Father. Frank. Frank, is it true that the designs attacked? Yes, it's true. Thankfully, no one was hurt. They passed through the village and headed for the temple. Father, where is Grandmother? Phydra is in the temple preparing for the ritual. Phydra's in the temple? But that's where the designs. The priests are there with her, there's no need to worry. Even though I just saw one walk into your school and die, but it's fine. Now Colette. I know, I promise to fulfill my duty as the Chosen. Good luck, Colette. Lloyd Genus, you two should go on home and let my daughter uh, go get killed at the temple. I'm worried about letting Colette go by herself. I'll go with her to the temple, even though I didn't want to five seconds ago. Me too. But, all right, thank you. I'll wait at the house. Come back immediately if anything happens. Like, if anything happens at all. One single thing happens. Come back and tell me about it. You see a, a butterfly that kind of looks unusual or something? You, you tell me about it. You, you see a, a cute little cat running around? Um, tell me about it. Anyway. Uh, okay, so we are going to spend all of our $500 on uh, Magic Lens, because Magic Lens are the greatest thing in existence. They tell you how much HP 
um, your opponent has. So that's always good. Uh, life bottle. Maybe I'll get another life bottle and there we go. That is all our money. <laughs> we did very well. We stocked up. So that's good. Um, I guess I should also figure out cooking. Lloyd, sandwich. Eh. We also have like all these other things that technically we wouldn't have at the beginning of the game. But because I used it in the grade shop, we do have those things. So we know how to make them. But honestly, if possible, let's just have Genus be a cook. Genus is the best cook in the game. He is, I don't know, amazing. So yeah, okay, so here you go. It's a little bit spoilerish just for seeing characters and stuff, but you can see how many hours I have racked into this game. So this is like beating the game the first time. This is the save file after you beat that game. This is another game. This was another one. This is another one. That's another one. This is another one. Let's, uh, you know what, because we're, we're super childish uh, on this channel um, and we're, we're funny, uh, let's just, of course, 69. Why not? If there was 420, I would do 420, but there's not. Whoa, it's a monster! I thought the northern region where the temple is located was a sanctuary. Why are there? It must be part of the trial. Martel's trial involves battling monsters. We don't have time to talk. Let's get this thing. Roger! No, my name is Lloyd. It's not, not Roger. Um, yeah, this is going to be fun with uh, 10 times XP because we are going to level up very quickly. And in the beginning of the game, we're going to get so many different, like, I don't know, tech. Uh, what do I have? I only have Demon Fang right now. So that's, I mean, that's fine, but I'll save it for the next one. There we go. Also, just very quickly, um, this is loud as shit. That was easy. Lloyd, you're amazing. Ah, well, I owe it to this thing, though. It's my wiener. No. Ah, that, ah that's right. The X-Sphere. Yeah, it's designed for combat and brings out my maximum strength. Without this thing, I'd be nothing. But you're still strong, Lloyd. Yeah, at least his sword skills are good. What do you mean, at least? There's another one. Let's go, you two. Wait, Lloyd, the professor said magic is more effective than physical attacks against non-physical and spiritual monsters. Really? Yes. Okay, then, I'll leave the ghost to Genus. I'll go for the, for the zombie. Okay, during battle, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here we go. Okay. Cool. Uh, so basically, there's a ghost and a zombie, and we're going to go attack the zombie so Genus can attack the ghost. Yeah, because there's strat to this game. Um, it's either that or you just become so powerful it doesn't even matter, and so you just start wailing on everything and it kills them in, like, one hit. Actually, how much does Demon Fang do? Is Demon Fang okay? Oh, 28, that's not bad, but Fireball does a little bit more. Um, should we cook? You know what, let's cook. Genus, cook a sandwich for me, thank you. It's important to choose the target wisely. When there's a lot of monsters, or if we're up against a dangerous one. It's especially important when saving an ally that's in trouble. We have to be careful. Let's go to the temple. Okay. Yeah, sure. Great. There's a lot of, like, filler dialogue in this, so I'm sorry if I don't just fully 100% commit to voice acting. Um, there's also these conversations, which, I mean, I can, I can, I can do voices for them if you guys would want. Let me know. Uh, cause right now I'm kind of just letting it go. Cause they're, I mean, it's hard because they don't, I'm not making this continue. It's just going by itself. So I feel like if I were to voice it, it might be kind of awkward, but you know what? It's, it's fine. You know, the next one, the next one that happens, I will try voicing it and see if I can do it in time with it. Cause I feel like the timing is weird. I'm either not going to have enough time to say anything, or I'm going to have too much time to say everything because they do one of those flashy, like, I don't know, camera thing, or not camera things, where the panel, like, moves. It just did it in the previous skit. But anyway, we're at the temple. Uh, it's a pretty cool temple. It's kind of just in the side of a mountain. And it's glowing, or it's shooting up a light. Whoa, that light really is coming from the temple! Then an oracle is going to be conveyed. Colette's going to be the Chosen of Regeneration! It's really, really bright. 
Say, Colette, when the Oracle is conveyed, you'll become the Chosen who will save the world, right? You're gonna be like the hero Mythos. So maybe you should act a little more, you know, Chosen-like? Yeah, no problem, no problem. Hey, there's a lot of commotion at the temple. You're right. Yeah, you're, you're right. Okay, so normally, had we um, gone right away to the temple, the pastor would have been walking down the steps and then died. But anyway, okay, let's go, you two. Okay. Okay. Oh, she tripped and almost hit her face. Ow! Are you all right? I'm fine. Sorry about that. Okay, just... I feel like they didn't know what to do. <laughs> well, they're, they're like, hmm, we should end it weirdly. Or like, we, we need a way to end this. So they did that. The oh, good. It's voice acted. Okay, perfect. Not that I don't like saying the characters. It's just my lately I've been talking a lot, like at work and stuff like having two weeks off and oh, then there she is. like going back to talking every day and everything. My voice is kind of killing me. So chosen one. Your life is mine. No, it's not. Colette is an independent Desires woman. Desires get away with anything. Desires? <laughs> What's so funny? Well then, die at the hands of the Desires you so hate. Get them. I mean, when you think about it, the writing is very obvious. I mean, he's like, you're Desires. And he's like, what? Desires? Ha ha ha. And he's like, wait, what? Why is so funny? And it's like, the only answer would be that they're not actually Desires. But, but we're just like, I don't know, as a kid, that is something that got me. I was like, wait, why are they laughing? They are designs, even though I had never seen what a design looked like. Um, I mean, they look exactly the, the same for the most part. So maybe they are designs. I don't know. I don't want to spoil anything. But I mean, like as a kid, I totally missed that, you know, subtle subtext of like designs. Haha, <laughs> you think we're designs? Yeah, <laughs> but it's like, maybe it is just because I've played this game so many times that I'm like, hmm, are they designs? Maybe they're not. We are super dying. Genus, you failed at making a sandwich. Come on, man. Also, I have to heal Clot. Mm, okay. Do not get in our way. No, I will get in your way because that's what I do. I'm going to use one of my 20 magic lens and you have 6,000. Oh God, Colette's super going to die. Actually, wait, hold on. Can you, Colette, can you heal yourself? Actually, no, better yet. Can you heal me? Yeah, yeah, thank you. That was great. Well, maybe because he's using like a ball and chain or whatever you call it and a hammer and you're using wooden swords. Also, this guy's badass. Get out of the way. No, you get out of the way. I'm clearly going to do more damage with my two wooden swords than your one metal sword. Also, Colette died. Well, game over. <laughs> I'm glad this isn't a game where that happens. It's like, oh, protect Colette while you fight, or else if she dies, then you're dead or something. That would, that would really suck. Also, please, Kratos, come on. I mean, I mean, random person definitely doesn't have a name. I'm um, just wandering stranger. Uh, get in here and fight, please. You are, you have a metal sword. I mean, come on. <laughs> you can use the magic if you want to. You can heal me as much as you want, but like, you know. Oh, come on, buddy. How did I dodge that and you, the master swordsman with a real sword, got hit by that? Come on. Give me strength? What? No! What did he use? I've never seen him do that before! I've never seen him use it. Was that an item? I feel like it, it should have said he used an item, though. Oh! Oh, okay. Wow, look at that booty on him. You can only see it for like a second, but now we're kind of destroying him. I wonder if it'll change. Oh, no. Not that I was purposely looking at his booty, it just kind of came out of nowhere, you know. Oh, come on. Oh, no, oh, that's bad. Oh, oh. Brutal. Brutal. Okay, wait, how much? Kratos, you better heal me. I mean, random stranger, you you better heal me. Yeah, okay, we're good. No, don't do it. Oh, how do you guys get hit by this and I just block it every time? The wooden swords of invincibility, apparently. 
Also, you're probably going to hear a lot of button mashing in this game because, I mean, that is most of the game is just random ass button mashing. So, and of course, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller, so it is kind of, it's loud. Um, yeah, we got minus grade on that. That's so sad. We didn't do very well. It's because Colette died. Damn, retreat for now. Yeah. Amazing. His name was Bada, and it looks like this mysterious stranger bought us a lot of time to get away. Bought them a lot of time anyway. This guy's incredibly strong. Yeah, I, I suppose so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess he uses a real Is sword. All right. Hmm. No one seems to be hurt. Just my feelings. Is that an X-Fear? How can I ever thank you for saving the Chosen? I see. So this girl is the next Chosen. How would you know that? Why are you suspecting that? It could have been one of the two other people there. That's right. I have to go accept the Oracle. Grandmother, I'm going to undergo the trial now. What trial? What do you mean, what trial? Monsters, I assume. An evil presence radiates from inside this chapel. Lloyd, she literally told you told you at the very the beginning. The chosen is to receive judgment from heaven, but the priests that were to accompany her fell at the hands of the desires. Brutal. Then I'll take on the job of protecting Colette with my two wooden swords. Lloyd, I would be uneasy with just you. Your name is Lloyd? Yeah, but who are you to ask for my name? Oh, dang! Oh my god. Hey, his name just happens to be Kratos! Wow. That's amazing. I guess I just, you know, told the future. Please be of service. Also, that line that uh, Lloyd said, like, who are you to ask for my name or something? That is, is like his motto or not motto, but like his go to like, oh, you're asking my name. Well, fuck Lloyd, you. I'm going to. Yeah. Lloyd, you'll only get in the way. Be a good boy and wait here. So, OK, we get another choice. We could say, what did you say? Or we could say, gotcha. Now, when I was a kid, I would always just say, what did you say? And like try and get in a fight with him. But, you know, I, I started doing gotcha because gotcha, I think, is like the better one. Gotcha. Then I'm just going to follow you on my own. Yeah, because I didn't I didn't really think that was going to happen. Like when I was a kid, I was like, oh, if I say gotcha, then that means I'm just not going to do the temple. You're a stubborn kid. But yeah. Fine. Do as you wish. And then I realized that games that. can be linear and only give Let's you go, one Jesus. option <laughs> anyway. Because, I mean, what would you do? Just wait outside for like half an hour while they do it? Of course. This isn't a field trip, you know. What do you mean this isn't a field trip? We, we're technically in class right now, so yes, it is. And our teacher is here probably somewhere, so. So this is what the inside of the temple is like. Colette, you've been in here many times, right? Yeah, but it seems different than usual. I sense the presence of monsters. Don't let your guard down. We can handle a few measly monsters. Let's go. Wait, Lloyd, are your sword techniques self-taught? Yeah, that's right. Here's a book on how to not suck. How to do good. What is this thing? If you are going to use a sword, then at least learn the basics. You want to protect the Chosen, don't you? Oh, snap! Humph! You think you know so much, but you don't because I use two wooden swords and I'm better than you. <laughs> OK, you know what? I think I think, uh, you know, let's go up here. Let's see what we have to do. It's sealed. The sorcerer's ring can probably open it. It's enshrined in this temple. Where is it? Let's hurry it up and go get it. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. Fine, we'll look for it, man. Okay, so there we go. We got to go find the sorcerer's ring, uh, which is kind of crucial to the entire game. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. If you like this episode, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Do things do for everyone else, but do it for us, do it for me. Uh, Brent will be back next week. 
uh, we're just giving it an extra week just in case. You know, I don't want to get sick. He doesn't want to spread germs and stuff. He's feeling better, which is great. So he will be back soon. But yeah, I think for the remainder of this week, it's probably going to be Tales of Symphonia. Maybe I'll go back to Stray. Uh, maybe back to Pokemon Randomizer, although I think I'm not 100% sure. You just let me know. That's probably the easiest thing. Just let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I will see you guys in another episode. Goodbye.